Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in Planet Threepwood on Jambalaya Island looking to put together the pieces to the ultimate insult. Um, and right as I finished recording the last episode I remembered exactly how we get the monkey caricature thing I was talking about. Um, it involves actually getting that mug first and then the guy draws you holding the mug and then you stick it on. The problem is, I can't remember how Excuse me. we can order the Hi, special Elaine, and I'll be your waitress this afternoon. The drink for special occasions. I think I'm ready to order. What'll it be? So we're going to try and figure that out. Uh, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So let's do this. Um, well, this? I'll take my chances with the lobster lechuk. Ka-ching! And to drink. Uh, how do we... Just a water, please. Fine. And how will you be paying? Uh... Why should I pay? This place wouldn't exist Maybe if it one? weren't for me. This place wouldn't exist if it weren't for us. I've got a feeling it involves sir. passing and this little test. Like In any event, don't bother me again until you have some way of paying for your meal. Okay, so we don't really have a way of proving we're... Uh, maybe that. I don't think she'd like that. No, we don't have any way of proving that we're Guybrush at the moment. So maybe we need to do that first? I honestly don't remember. Let's, um, anyway, let's head out and see what else we can do on the island. Because we seem to be a little bit sort of stuck on this bit for now. Um... What's this over here? Ah, yes! Tiny Lafitte. I remember. This is the guy who had the bronze hat on his statue that's been taken off. We'll talk to the tourists to find out more. So we have to find the bronze hat. Pardon me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, what kind of a pirate are you? What kind of a pirate are you? A pirate? Moi? Heaven forbid, old bean. Old oh, bean. I'm just a humble tourist. Uh, you're pretty brave for a tourist. You're pretty brave for a tourist. Most tourists would steer clear of pirate-infested islands. Normally, you'd be right. In the past, I've avoided islands like Jambalaya because of their pirate problems. But my tour guide assured me that Jambalaya has been scrubbed clean of its more undesirable pirate elements, if you catch my drift. Uh, what would you say if I told you that I was one of those undesirable pirate elements? What would you say if I told you that I was one of those undesirable pirate elements? You! Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> you may be no a little us. smelly, and your manners could use some improvement, but you're not even one-tenth as vile as one of those rapacious brigands that used to roam this island. I am. I think I've just been insulted. <laughs> no, really, I am. No, really, I am a grog-swilling, sword-waving reprobate. Honest. Whatever you say, old chap. <laughs> That's a great ensemble. That's a great ensemble. Isn't it, though? My wife picked it out for me. It looks like a produce cart exploded on your arms. <laughs> Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Do you know where I can find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Is that a fruit-flavored drink over at Planet Three Wood? No. no, it's a dangerous voodoo talisman of inexplicably soul-crunching power. Its pieces are supposed to be somewhere on Jambalaya Island. Ooh, a scavenger hunt! How thrilling! Maybe I can help. What do the pieces look like? Uh, well, one of the pieces looks like a golden man. One of the pieces looks like a golden man. Hmm. Nope, nothing comes to mind. I think the only one he's going to know about is this bronze pirate hat. One of the pieces looks like a bronze pirate hat. A bronze pirate hat? Oh, that's interesting. Why? Take a good look at this statue, boyo. Uh, do you really think the bronze hat I'm looking for could have come from this statue? Do you really think the bronze hat I'm looking for could have come from this statue? Well, that'd be my guess. Okay, uh... One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. One of the pieces looks like a silver monkey head. A silver monkey head, eh? I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Fair enough. I've had just about enough talking about the ultimate insult for now. Fair enough. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm admiring the craftsmanship of this statue of Jambalaya's most famous pirate, Tiny Lafitte. Tiny Lafitte? What made Tiny so famous? What made Tiny so famous? He was the friendly pirate of Jambalaya Island. He robbed from the bad and gave to the nice. And he always said please and thank you. 
twice. <laughs> He's the perfect symbol of the new non-threatening Jambalaya Island. Right. Okay. Was there really a tiny Lafitte or was he dreamed up by someone's marketing department? <laughs> Was there really a tiny Lafitte, or was he dreamed up by someone's marketing department? Oh, he's real, all right. I hear his son lives across the bay or nothing at all. <laughs> Great name for an island. What happened to the top of the statue? What happened to the top of the statue? Looks like someone gave Tiny a bad haircut. <laughs> I'm not sure. Rumor has it that some vandalous pirates from Nutton at all stole the statue's hat, but I don't believe it. Uh -huh. They do a pretty good job of keeping those types off of Jambalaya. If you say so. Uh, I'd rather not, not talk, talk about, about Tiny right now. Fine. Uh, that's it, I guess. Sorry to bother you. No bother at all, old Bean. Yes, thank you, old Bean. Um, so we've got to find that hat. Should we go into here? Let's go into the micro groggery and see what this is all about. Come on in and enjoy some handcrafted homebrewed grog. Sounds good. I don't really have a way of paying though. I love the music in here. <laughs> this must be where Grog comes from. Yep. Big old. Oh, it's Carla. Let's talk to Carla. Carla, where? Uh, what do you think you're doing? Oh, she's drunk. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Uh, it looks like you're trying to drink yourself into oblivion on crappy micro grog. It looks like you're trying to drink yourself into oblivion on crappy micro grog. Hey, that's a great idea. Thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> Too hot. Why are you getting drunk? Why are you getting drunk? I'm drunk to forget. Forget what? I forget. Are you trying to forget Monkey Island? <laughs> that's it. I'm drinking oh, to forget all the time I spent stranded on Monkey Island. Thanks for reminding me. Now I have to start drinking all over again. Sorry. Well done, Guybrush. Drinking isn't the answer. Drinking isn't the answer, Carla. That depends on the question, doesn't it? Uh, uh want to help me find the pieces of the ultimate insult? Want to help me find the pieces of the ultimate insult? I'll tell you what, by gosh. Brush guy. Feet good. <laughs> I'll stay here and keep my eye out for any pieces of the ultimate insults that come by. Okay. Um. All kay. right then. Barky, Margrog, you abysmal master. <laughs> How do you like this place? How do you like this place? It's horrible. The grog is shrieking in my pinky finger. They won't let me get into any short fights, and all the chips have got its cheese on them. Ugh. If this place is so awful, why don't you leave? Well, if this place is so awful, why don't you leave? Two reasons. One, this is the only place a pirate can find a drink on this godforsaken, family-friendly heckhole of an island. Right. And B, I think someone has stolen my legs. <laughs> Why? Because I can't feel them anymore. Oh, God, okay. I'll let you get back to your uh, shore leave. I'll let you get back to your uh, shore leave. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, um... <coughs> Sorry guys, I've still got a bit of a cough. Um, let's talk to the bartender. Hi. Howdy. What can I do you for? Um, I'd like a drink, please. I'd like a drink, please. You got some ID? No. Well then, I can't give you the good stuff. <coughs> but I can't give you this new Sorry. low inebriation grog-like beverage. It's called Grog Junior. We developed uh, it here yeah, okay. in our micro groggery for people just like yourself. It's got just enough alcohol in it to stun a skinny Oh bear. yeah, well, we need this. Here, try some and tell me what you think. Because we might just be might meeting a parrot at some point soon. Mm, maybe later. Okay, uh, so how's business? So, how's business? It's great. This is the only place in the entire Tri-Island area that people can come and get gourmet freshly distilled grog. People come from all over to sample our 65 different variations of grog and grog byproducts. These include Snoop Groggy Grog, Green Grog, Dangerous Dark, Siren's Urine, named for its color, not content. <laughs> and of course, our award-winning Stale Ale. Every grog we have is distilled lovingly and individually by members of the Micro Grogger family. What about just plain old-fashioned grog grog? What are you, some kind of unsophisticated hick? <laughs> God, so what is that thing over there with a saddle on it? So, what is that thing over there with a saddle on it? 
That, my friend, is the menacing mechanical manatee. Uh, what the heck is a manatee? <laughs> what the heck is a manatee? The manatee is a marine mammal that grazes on seagrass and other plant life in shallow waters. They are typically nine to ten feet long and weigh about a thousand pounds. That doesn't sound menacing at all. Sounds more like a swimming cow. Oh, <laughs> will you try to snatch the grass out of a manatee's mouth and see how menacing it gets? Uh, what is this mechanical manatee here for? What is this mechanical manatee here for? Well, mostly for entertainment. But as a promotional special, we're currently giving away a Planet Three Foot coupon for a complimentary monkey mode. Oh, to anybody that's how we do it. The manatee at the highest setting. Okay, I'd like to take a crack at writing that. I'd like to take a crack at writing that manatee thing. That's it, we have All to win right. the coupon. Let's see what you got. Now I remember. Okay, I'm going to start at the bedwetter setting. <laughs> shouldn't be any trouble for a stout young guy like you. Ready? Yep. Ready. Ooh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Ow. Right, we have to... <laughs> I've seen drunk old ladies who were able to hold on tighter than that. <laughs> Bad wetter. <laughs> uh, if I remember right, we have to get some glue and glue ourselves onto it so that we don't fall off. But I can't actually remember where we get that. What can I do you for? Uh, why does this island seem so wholesome? Why does this island seem so wholesome? Well, the inhabitants of this island, in conjunction with Ozymandrill Enterprise, of course, have worked very hard to keep this island friendly and clean and family compliant. Family compliant? <laughs> yeah. We don't have much use for those surly ragamuffin pirate types around here. They're not very good role models. Mm. Role models? You sound surprised. Say, you're not one of those scruffy, undesirable pirates that are always scaring little kids, are you? Oh, uh, no, no. I try to plant a tree and give insult sword fight, uh, grammar lessons to children every day. <laughs> well, good for you. Oh, I love the way they make it sort of modern day at the same time in this game. It's really clever. Have a nice day there. You too. Anyway, I think that's all we can do in the micro groggery for now. Uh, what's that? Oh, walk through door to town, okay. So, there's the diving competition. So we could check that out. But we need to find this glue wherever it is. Um, can't remember off the top of my head. Let us go... Oh my god, I've just remembered what is over here. <laughs> Oh, I completely forgot about this. Jeez. He's back. Stan? Is that you? Why, if it isn't my old friend, yeah, Bob. It's Guybrush. Of course it is, of course it is. Welcome to Stan's Real Estate Emporium, where a deal's a deal and the real estate is real. For goodness sake. <laughs> Tell me about these pamphlets. Good old Stan, back again to sell us some old crap we don't want. Tell me about these pamphlets. Do yourself a favor and read them. They're full of all sorts of great information about Stan's timeshares. Take one. They're free. That's the kind of guy I am. Just giving things away. The wavy arms are back as well. And the bloody awful clothes that look like they're some sort of... I don't know. Brain tumor inducing thing. I, don't, I can't describe it. I thought you were selling life insurance anyway. I thought you were selling life insurance. Turned into a dead end. Get it? Dead end. <laughs> Seriously, no money in it anymore. It just dried up. Why? All my clients were dying and becoming ghosts just to collect on their policies. Oh well. Uh, you know I mean, I mean that was you know really I mean? Time just share us. The wave of the future. So we had Stan's previously owned vessels in Monkey Island 1, then we had Stan's previously owned coffins in Monkey Island 2, and then Stan's life insurance in Curse of Monkey Island, and now he's doing timeshares. Brilliant. Why is your desk outside? Why is your desk outside? Ah, it's a beautiful day! How can you work inside on a day like this? Why are you really outside? Why are you really outside? Just a mm, small problem with the local vermin. It's the problem that's small. The vermin themselves are actually quite large. <laughs> but it's nothing to worry about. It'll be taken care of right away. It's I'm just sure. a minor setback. What's important is that the timeshare units are, legally speaking, practically vermin-free. Practically vermin-free? 
You're hawking real estate now. You're hawking real estate now? Time shares, my good man. Looking for a second home? Investment property? A little extra income? Look no further. You can't afford not to take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity. And for the next 24 hours, for just listening to my pitch, you get a coupon for a free monkey monkey oh. at Planet Freakwood. Limit one per customer while supplies last. Void where prohibited by law and in the state of Wyoming. Oh, I didn't know we could get one here as well. Give me the pitch. Give me the pitch. Smart decision, my friend. You'll thank me after you've heard about this exciting opportunity. Stay with me. The full pitch takes just under three hours. Oh, my God. Be prepared God. to be stunned by what I have to do. Three hours. What's the best investment for your hard-earned cash? The stock market? He's off now. Too no. volatile. Duck food futures. No. Ducks have short lifespans. Porcelain figurines. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> Porcelain again. What the? Two words. <laughs> Time. Share. That's right. Real estate. Let me show you how a small investment today can compound into an incredible fortune in just a few short uh, generations. Do you have to? Two hours and fifty-seven minutes later. <laughs> so who's excited and ready to invest? Huh? <gasps> He's falling asleep. <laughs> hey, wake up. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh. You must have dozed off, pal. Sorry. Yeah, it's hey, so boring. No skin off my nose. I'm not the one that's gonna miss out on this once in a millennium opportunity. Come back when you're ready to hear the whole pitch. Oh, you know where no. to find me. Uh, okay. Ever heard of something called the ultimate insult? Ever heard of something called the ultimate insult? Why? Are you looking for one? Yes. Do you know where I can get it? Not just now, but perhaps I can acquire some if the markup is substantial. How many mm. units do you think I can push? Never mind. <laughs> Are you working for Ozzy Mandrill? Are you working for Ozzy Mandrill? Ozzy Mandrill? Let me tell you something about Ozzy Mandrill, kid. Ozzy Mandrill doesn't know squat about being a real entrepreneur. Ooh. He doesn't know the thrill of haggling, Touch the, the ecstasy of a hard-earned sale, the agony of a lost customer. All Ozzy wants are orderly lines of zombies queuing up to purchase his prefabricated, pre-priced, pre-processed garbage. I ask a kid. Where's the fun in that, huh? Where's the love? He wouldn't hire you? Not even an interview. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be on I'll my way. Just be on my way. You can't afford to wait too long. This deal won't last. I don't recall getting a Planet Fleetwood coupon from him, but maybe. Stan's new building sure is festive looking. We do. Is that the glue on the side? I think it might be. Stan's desk is outside. That can't be good for the finish. Uh, can we take. One of these pamphlets. Uh, where are they? Pamphlets. Here we go. I think one is enough. Oh, did we get one already? Oh, we did. Here we go. There's a big picture of some couple in here that I don't recognize. Whoa! Look at the size of her ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> Big old ponytail. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's um, let's move swiftly on. Um, right. I think that is the glue over there. Actually, let's head over and yeah, it's look the jar of glue. Let's take it. So that's what we're going to use back on the mechanical manatee. I can't remember if we can actually go in here or not. Dan's new building sure is festive looking. The door seems to be locked. No, it's completely ah, it's a locked. beautiful day. How can you work inside on a day like this? You just told me you have a rat problem, man. So, uh, right. Let us head back to town. And the area over on the right, you can see that other little island is nothing at all. Um, and the bit on the left, just which we're passing by now, that is where the diving competition is. So we're going to head over there in a minute the diving competition I think and then we will go I don't know we'll see we'll try and get the gold statue um, I can't rem we do need to go to Night at all, so we'll probably well, head there afterwards if it isn't the bucking buccaneer yeah yeah <laughs> ha 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 you're going to be eating your words in a second mate because I'm just going to put some of this glue onto this uh, thing I'll just splatter some glue on here like this do, do, do. don't look mate voila Puddle of glue. Now we'll try again. It's me. I'm back for another go. <laughs> You're gonna be eating Hi, your words, man. What can I do you for? Uh, so what's the deal with that manatee thing again? So what's the deal with that manatee thing again? It's called the menacing mechanical manatee. 
Uh, I want another shot at taming the manatee. I want another shot at taming the manatee. Alrighty, let's see what you got. Put it on the hardest okay. difficulty. I'm going to start at the bedwetter setting, which shouldn't be any trouble for a stout young guy like you. Exactly, and it Ready? won't. I think Bring this is on. what we do. I don't think we need anything else. Hopefully the glue will do the trick. Yahoo! Seems to be. Not bad. Okay, now let's increase the difficulty until we get to the top setting. <laughs> Two hours later, geez. <laughs> uh, is it over yet? Almost. Three, two, one. You did it! Hey, we did it. You did it! Well, that was um, certainly interesting. I thought we'd lose you on the grazing frenzy setting, but you made it. You've joined an elite fraternity, my friend. Not many have survived their rides on the Savage Manatee. Come on over to the bar, partner, and I'll get you your monkey mug meal coupon. Yes. Here you go. Enjoy your prize. Uh, you're gonna thank you. All right, let's take a look at this, shall we? This coupon is redeemable at any Planet Threepwood Diner and is good for one silver monkey mug meal. Offer expires 12:25. Void were prohibited. Not valid in conjunction with any other offers or to employees <laughs> or slaves of the Planet Threepwood conglomerate. I love the terms and conditions. Cool. So we've now Promotion got subject that. subject to change, so don't bug us if it does. It better not change before I can redeem it. That is for sure. Okay, so we've got our thing. So now we should be able to get the silver mug meal, and eventually steal the silver mug so we can get our first piece of the ultimate insult. Madams and messieurs, brigands and wenches, Shut up, Murray. welcome to Planet Threepwood, the piratiest place so on Earth. So let's um, Step inside and sample our head back inside. And we shall redeem our ticket in the next episode because we're out of time. So, good progress has been made. Um, it all fell back together quite nicely, didn't it? And it was good to see Stan again with his latest wacky scheme to make money um, through some sort of dodgy scam type thing, uh, as always. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support and I will see you all next time.